Good morning, sunshine. I am so glad that you're with me this morning because let me tell you, last night I was going to show you guys some things and to be honest, I got so freaking excited. My brain went glitch and uh, yeah, I skipped out some pretty important stuff. So hang out till the end today because I need to show y'all something. But before I get into that, I, I want to talk today about how to be successful. I know that sounds so cliche, but it's the last quarter of the year. And so I want to talk about some things that have been on my mind um, and really, really heavy within the last week. I mean, it's not like I haven't had any time to think, but I realized that there is many things that I need to do. Number one, I, I got to have some time to focus on me, my home, you know, my job, my dog, me. That's personal stuff. I've got my crochet stuff. My head is exploding with things that I want to create and things that I want to make. And I find that I don't really have as much time as I'd like. There's also YouTube. YouTube and crochet go hand in hand, but they're not one and the same. It's like they're besties walking down the street, right? Because the skill set that I use for YouTube, even though it's a crochet channel, is completely different than just crocheting. And it takes time. And the thing is that I, and I know I find this, well, I don't find it. I hear, because I watch YouTube a lot, I hear that there are a lot of creators that are going through the same issue, trying to find content for their channels, because it's really easy to get wrapped up in your head. I'm going to go for my own personal. I get super hyper focused on one thing. Now, when I started this channel, all I wanted to do is amigurumi. That's it. That's all. Amigurumi, 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 and doll babies. Had I stuck to that, I probably would not have met you, which would have totally sucked. Not that I would have known that it sucked, but it would have sucked, okay? Because I actually enjoy you being in my life. There's a fine line between creating content that you want to create as a creator and creating content that your viewers want to see. And I know I am sitting here like discussing YouTube in my robe. Don't judge me. Okay. Don't judge me. I'm old and not yet caffeinated. Enough said. Okay. Anyway, so th there's a fine line. You want to find, uh, I got to find things that my viewers want to see. I want to give you what you want. I want to be able to create things that, that make you excited to be here. It's like when you come to my house and I make sure there's a thing of cookies or a glass of milk or how about some sweet tea or do you see what I'm saying? Some fresh fruit or veggies because I love snacking on fresh veggies. But by the same token, it has to be something that I enjoy as well. That fence gets a little bit, how do I say, hard to straddle. And sometimes it gets to this, ah, I don't, I literally don't know what to make. You, mm, I struggle so bad with it because sometimes what my viewers want to see or what I know will interest my viewers isn't exactly what I'm interested in in that moment. Now my, y'all know my moods flick flock, flock flick, flick flock. Y'all have seen my evolution or <laughs> the process of my evolution as a crochet enthusiast. Um, so I'm all over the place. And if anybody is actually going through this, let me know. Let me know in the comments if you are struggling to come up with content ideas for your channel because I got something that's going to absolutely blow your mind. If you find yourself struggling to come up with content creation ideas for your handmade channel, I'm not talking about all kinds of channels, although this suggestion would probably benefit you too. Create something that you know your viewers will like. Write a list of all the topic ideas that your viewers would like, because without your viewers, you don't have a channel to create for. So write that down. And if you haven't got any channels yet, any uh, viewers yet, I told you my brain just isn't, it's fine. I'm glitching. It's all right. If you don't have any, you know, a big following, you don't have a lot of viewers yet. You're not yet monetized. That's okay. 
because you're probably going to go through this very similar thing. You know, I probably need to create a, vi a whole video about this. Let me know in the comments if you want a video about how to come up with content ideas that make you happy. Because the whole thing is you just want something that's going to make your heart happy when you post it. Okay. After you get that list of topic ideas that your viewers would would really enjoy, you also need to get a list of topic ideas that you will enjoy. Go through and see if any of them match up. If there is topic ideas that are both in your column and in your viewers column, those are the videos that you focus on. If you can't find any, like maybe you find something like, oh, I mean, I could do that for my viewers, this particular topic, hypothetical topic. I could do this for my viewers. Oh, geez, but I just, I'm not feeling it. I just don't feel happy about it. I have two suggestions. Number one, do it anyway. Do it anyways, because it's for them and not for you. And number two, right as soon as you get done doing that video, do one for yourself and post them both. I promise your viewers probably want you to be happy too. And if they don't, they need to go somewhere else. I'm just saying, happy spaces, happy spaces. Okay, that's my rant for this morning. My brain is heavy this Monday morning. I'm telling you, oh my goodness, mm, I love my coffee. All right, so I'm about to show you some amazing things. So when the lights went out, when the hurricane hit, it was several days before we actually got mail. And when we did, I ran out to the mailbox. I was so freaking excited, and it was packed full. There were packages. There were letters. There were all kinds of things. Now, I actually got two. The first one I want to talk about, and I don't know why I don't have it right here. I thought I was prepared, but I guess I am totally not. My bad. I apologize. But I got a letter. It was actually a card from Yes Michelle Crochets. Y'all, it made my day. I'm not going to go into exactly what that card said because I'm going to keep some things personal, but it came at the right exact time. Now, I believe that card was sent before the hurricane, so I don't know how she knew exactly what I needed to hear at the time that I got that card, but it really did bring tears to my eyes. I'm so ever so grateful for you guys. And Michelle, she really did touch me. So, Michelle, girl, you have my heart. Thank you so, so much for that amazing card. It was, it was wonderful. And I definitely appreciate it. My gosh. At the same time that I got the card from, yes, Michelle Crochets, I also got this package. Seriously? Things have been tight. So, I knew that I didn't order anything from, because... I'm broke. I'm broke. I also hadn't had electricity. So I don't know when this came. This says, I saw this and thought it was a perfect project bag for you. And this is from Miss Lisa. Lisa, can I tell you, like, I don't know when, when this happened. I, I don't know whether it was before or after the hurricane, but I'm telling you, absolutely freaking absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. So let me show y'all. Absolutely. Y'all, do you see how crazy? That's how I felt. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I, again, I am really sorry that I, I, mm -mm, no, I'm not sorry. I apologize for not getting this up during the live because like hello how awesome is that okay so freaking cute i saw that spracked out cat and i was like how did she know lisa thank you so so much so very much y'all i want you to know my members are amazing absolutely amazing um and i cannot wait for our marvelous members only Zoom meeting tonight. I can't wait to see you. Lisa, again, thank you so much for that project bag. Absolutely love it. Miss Michelle, thank you. I love you both. Bye now.